while standing at the threshold of a journey through a path that has given me inner happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to reminisce how it occurred to me to follow this quest. Charity begins at home. My family for generations followed this tradition. My father and his father before him took part in a variety of social welfare works. And this is one of the reasons why I got into this field of humanitarian work. In 2013, I visited a government school for the deaf and blind in my native city in India. My parents supported me throughout. I was unsure about the outcome. Students from poor backgrounds studied here and we distributed sweaters to, them, to all of them. Watching their face gleam with smiles for just a sweater was an unbelievable experience. It was a realization that the needy is not just a phrase in social media. It is a harsh reality and it is ignominious to let that tribe increase in the 21st century. Interestingly, I found myself more inclined to think and plan such activities in the future. The cloth collection drive in 2014, along with the Red Prison Society for the refugees of a certain country. Incredible with a response. A whopping 800 kilos of clothes in just three days. Moral of the story? If there's a will, there's a way. The people who took part in this venture told me that they wanted to take part in such future activities. And what I inferred was the fact that all of them needed a common platform to come together. Without delay, I launched the Facebook group, Together for a Better World, with the tagline, Small Idea, Big Difference, only to win the support of like-minded students from different schools across the country. We started off as a bunch of five students doing regular voluntary charity work. We started inviting students from different schools to join us via social networking sites, and the response was huge. This made us realize that we were moving in the right direction and provided an impetus to the movement. Within a year, together for a better world and a community of 50 students who regular voluntary work. Since its inception, together for a better world has undertaken a number of initiatives, including Help the Nepal Earthquake Victims, the Milk Powder Collection Drive, along with the Choice to Change Foundation, which helped the malnourished children in Bangladesh serve the laborers and the youth school collection drive in which we collected school books for the poor students of Africa. Today, two years since our founding, Together for a Better World as a community of 150 students across the globe and a partner with Everyone Counts, a United Nations recognized organization based in Bahrain. All these accomplishments I listen here today are in my humble attempt to spread the idea of tech smart startups in the field of innovation. If teenagers like me can bring about such a change, then just imagine what magnet change can be brought about if all of us here work together for the welfare of our brethren. In the UAE itself, we've had a ton of initiatives where residents and citizens alike have created a spark that has led to a bigger happening. The Clean Up Georgia campaign last year was successful to reach out to about 1,500 people, collect 2,020 kilos of newspaper, plant 108 golf trees, and clean up four streets of Georgia. The Plan to Plant campaign, which was launched on this year's Earth Day, on the eve of this year's Earth Day, was a huge success. We were able to reach out to 10,000 people in just a matter of a single day in five different countries. All of this was, thanks, was possible thanks to social media. All of us seated here today are lucky to be among the top 3% in society. All of us have the luxury of education, sumptuous meals, a parent's real comfort, and a safe and secure home. I am bound to act on this for what the world has offered to me 
and it was job to offer a major part of my effort towards world peace and harmony. Our development cannot be at the expense of the factors that help us thrive. The destruction of the 25 million year old Great Barrier Coral Reef, apprehensions upon pollutions ranging from air pollution to light pollution, the call to save Mother Earth, and what not. All of this can be handled in one simple way. Taking initiative and being innovative go hand in hand. And it does not really take much to help a fellow human being. All you need is dedication and determination. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget the fact that no idea is small. How many of you sitting here today believe that only social workers can make a difference in society? Can I have a show of hands for this? To all of you, those, to all those of you who raised your hand, let me narrate to you a story. A story that was published in a number of international newspapers, and I'm sure that you will change the decision. It's a coffee shop. A group of three gentlemen walk in and tell the waiter, three, five coffees, three for us and two penny. A child sitting at a nearby table asks the waiter, what is a penny coffee? The waiter replied, wait and watch. A couple walked in. They bought two coffees straight for the left. Then later, a group of eight lawyers walked in and told the waiter, ten coffees, eight for us and two pen, and they paid for ten. While these lawyers were having a discussion, a poor man walked in and said, do you have any penny coffee? Ladies and gentlemen, this story is a part of the international suspended open coffee movement that originated in the European continent to inspire acts of kindness in everyday life. This story simply shows all of us that, if, that all of us can contribute to the society in our own ways. And if all of us work together for the welfare of the society, then the world will in no time be a better place to live. Ladies and gentlemen, let me leave you on this note. If you think that you can change the world, then congratulations, you have taken your first step. Thank you.